So I'm sitting here working, and all of a sudden there's a fragrance sm smell coming around me. And I'm pretty sure it's not one of those disgusting and filthy and bad for your health e-cigarettes. But what I'm thinking is it's someone who decided to walk up and spray over my back. And I have to tell you, that's immoral. Do not ever walk up to someone and spray them with anything. Because not only is it illegal and it's considered an attack, it can be highly allergenic for them. You don't know what a person's allergies are, so I'm encouraging you not to do that. We try to encourage people with our ministry, Life Force Ministries, M2M Mission, that you do not provide people food. People do not want your leftovers. I know a lot of guys who are panhandlers that receive it out of kindness and then they go throw it away. So don't waste your food on them. I know a lot of people who like to purchase bags of food for people thinking they're being loving and kind. And I sit there and I look at them and go, who are you to that person? Why do you know what they like or don't like? And have you ever considered they might be allergic to everything in the bag like I am? So what I'm saying to people is if you want to purchase people food, then walk up to them and say, I'm wondering if you might need some food for the day. Is there anything that I could buy for you that would help you today? And that's a pretty simple, straightforward, two-sentence kind of paragraph that should get you the answer that you need. In my case, I have no problem buying food. What I'm more interested in is a new pair of sneakers. And I know where to buy them. I know where to find them. I know approximately how much they cost. But ministries don't always get enough money to do that when they're worried about feeding other people. What I do value about my work in the ministry is that some people are really good people and really generous, and it helps me to not have to stress out for the day. In other words, if somebody gives me 10 bucks for the day, I know that I will be cared for in my food. If we receive more, I know that myself and a few other people might be able to eat because I regularly give up my food to a couple people when God says give it to them. Other times God will say don't because what they're doing is not the same as you and what they're lying about is not their right. At the same time, I do feed the environment. And this morning, even though I sort of overslept because I was literally up until 3 or so in the morning and I got 10 minutes of sleep before the liar marched in, I literally discovered that I could go back to sleep for a little while and maybe only slept for 3 hours, which is unusual for me. But what happened was that God said, time to get up, little man which is God's right because he's a pretty big fellow. And basically, as soon as I got up and got myself awake, I saw that my family of geese, all 12 of them, were standing there in the lane going, Hey man, you got some food. So after taking care of my normal daily functions that everybody does to clean out my system, I started to poke around to see what I had. And lo and behold, I bought the day before some vegetable crackers for them. And for the most part, they enjoyed them and ate them. And I didn't have to give them any hand signals when they realized I was busy with my own business to have them walk away. And that's what I love about my family. They'd actually called out to me in the middle of the night and I gave them a signal that they would be alright to come and see me in the morning. And the mama goose knows this. She is very smart and I can't get over how smart they are. They're really kind of fabulous. I'm also recognizing that my family is, has plumage that's changing and shifting and I didn't know that about geese. I didn't realize that that could happen. I've also discovered they're marvelously good gossips, and we'll talk more about that another time.